hear stories about what happened. It's true. Hey guys, you heard the man, there were stories and they're all true. Welcome to another episode of the Star Wars Canon Library. It's going to be a kind of a, maybe a short little bit of a video. We're just trying to update everybody on what's going on. And believe it or not, we got Andrew in on another video. He, he found some time uh, to do a video with us. Uh, so we're going to talk about a few things we got going on, a lot of upcoming things. Um, for those of you that don't know, we do now have a official an official website. It is www.starwarscanonlibrary.com. Uh, we finally have it up. We're still working on it and getting some of the stuff put up, and we're still tweaking it here and there. But if you guys have any suggestions whatsoever for the site, let us know. Uh, there is a contact us page on there now that'll email us directly uh, to the to the email address. Uh, so, but uh, you've checked the website out, right? I mean, oh, you've yeah. looked around at it. Okay, oh, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's now live. So if you guys want to check that out, feel more than welcome to go over and check that out. Um, do you want to talk about our new studio that, that we're going to be working on? Because you've seen it. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we wanted better production value, a bigger space, because, you know, our corner, it's a little cramped. So um, uh, we have a friend who we're actually bringing on to the show. Mm -hmm. And anyways, um, so we got a much larger studio area, so we'll be able to provide better quality videos and just all around better production value of everything that we do. So, yeah. I mean... It's a really, it's a really big space, so it's gonna be nice. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet, I, but um, the the guy that is supplying it to us, Jer, uh, he, he's actually gonna be joining our crew. Um, he doesn't know a whole lot about the canon stuff, um, but he loves Star Wars. He's seen the movies, but uh, he's gonna add a new dynamic to what we're gonna be doing a little bit. We're actually gonna make a structure for the show and actually make a production out of it instead of just doing little web webisodes that we've right. been doing. Um, but we're talking about things, you know, educating him about some of the trivial stuff that's going on. Uh, he had an idea of doing uh, uh, character bios for certain videos, stuff like that. So uh, he's he's going to be a great asset to the right. to it the be crew. A real new, fresh perception. Mm -hmm. I mean, of everything, perspective. Sorry, um, because because he has that lack of knowledge, it it'll be not, he'll question everything, and it's gonna to, to me that'll be amazing. Um, it'll definitely keep us on our toes. Mm -hmm. Um, we've also, uh, got a couple videos coming guys, uh, very soon tomorrow. Uh, Andrew's actually coming over uh, we've been getting several emails actually, uh, asking us to do commentaries on the movies. Um, so we're going to see if we can't knock a couple of those out tomorrow right. and, and try to figure out what format we want to do them in. Um, uh, what did we want to start with? New Hope? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I guess we're going to be starting with a new hope. What the hell's hell wrong with you? Yes, we're starting with a new hope. And then we're going to go Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi and then The Force Awakens. There's only four okay, Star Wars movies. Okay, okay. There's only four Star Wars movies. <laughs> Regardless if we like no, it or we'll, not, we we'll, have to acknowledge We'll that. go back and we'll do one, two, and three because there are people out there that like the, the prequels. Yeah, there are people that do so, like the prequels. So, uh, but it, they're, they're not going to get a... Record that. They're not going to get a commentary. They're just going to get us slamming it the whole freaking time. <laughs> the entire so, time. <laughs> but anyway, um, we've also got a, a review coming out. Uh, well, no, actually, yeah, yeah you're going to be talking about Lost Stars. Yeah, I do. Uh, I on a video do tomorrow, some Lost Stars. Lost Stars was. Uh, I really don't have. Right now, I'm going to keep it short. That was an amazing book. As my number one favorite right now, as far as uh, canon material that's out right now. Oh, it, it, it's it's great. One, yeah, one hundred percent. Like I've said it several times. Like I, it took me four months to read *Heir to the Jedi*, <laughs> but I buzzed through *Lost Stars* in two days. Like I would bookmark it to set it back down and go to sleep, and I'd lay there for like ten minutes, but like, no, I can't. I, I gotta finish it, and I'd wake back up and 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 read. But um, I was actually I was actually I remember me telling you I was actually late to my job. I was late to work because I was like, oh, I can squeeze in a chapter before work, and an hour and a half later, I'm thirty minutes late from work. Yeah, but some of the things the book touched on, which I thought was really interesting was uh, like these these two characters in the book were, were pivotal in the classic trilogy yeah. and you never even knew about them watching the movies. Uh, and you know, I mean, as far as... Um, the book gave, gives you an amazing insight on original trilogy. Points of view like you would have never thought of right. before. 
Um, we'll, we'll get more into that with, mm-hmm. uh, with our actual review. Right, video. right. Um, we do have a review up on the website for it right now. I just I typed out a, a short little review for it. Uh, but Andrew's going to be losing his freaking mind in the next video talking about it. So um, <laughs> yes. the one thing I know that you're really losing your mind over is the Rogue One teaser trailer. Oh, the Rogue One he teaser hasn't trailer. Got, he hasn't got to share his thoughts on the trailer oh. just yet. So I'm going to take this opportunity to let him share his thoughts. I personally thought that trailer was the most amazing it's going to be the best movie Star Wars ever. Oh, yeah. I'm more excited for it than I ever was for Episode 7. I think Brian's... Yeah, same way, yeah. yeah I think it's a different kind of excitement. Yeah, I can agree with yeah, that. Yeah, 7 yeah. was a nostalgic factor, and this one is just, that's going to be a badass Absolutely. movie. Jesus Christ. Um, I love that they kept Darth Vader out of these previews, the, the initial mm-hmm. preview. Um, instead of just ruining it and putting him in right off the bat. Unless they Luke skywalker him and he's in a robe and you just can't see him. <laughs> But, but uh, I really appreciated that they did that, and uh, uh, the AT-ATs on the. I story. still wish they'd have done the stop motion, yeah. Like they did, on, and the those that would have looked amazing to do too. stop motion. I agree too. Hey, if JJ had done it, I think it would have been stop motion. JJ is still executive producer. That. No, I mean, but if he had like like well, yeah. seven, yeah, that's true. So. Yeah. Um, also, uh, we wanted to touch on just a minute here. I, I didn't have it written down, but uh, we wanted to touch on just for a minute uh, the new Han Solo has finally been cast, and I know there's a lot of people pissing and moaning about it, and I have no clue why. I thought it was a great pick. It's a great pick. Yeah. Um, he, he was great in Hail Caesar. Yeah. I mean, is it, you know, you're not going to get somebody who looks like Harrison Ford, so you might as well just forget that notion yeah. right off the bat. And everybody's crying for, uh, uh, what's the other guy's name? Uh, I, I can't remember his name. It's just because it's some, a Gruber, Ford impersonation Gruber? or something. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, but yeah, but... How many people in the world can do a good Harrison Ford impression? You, you don't need a good Harrison Ford impression. You need a good Han Solo. Yeah, well, and I think, you know, I, I think and, they're going to get that. Yeah, and I, yeah I'm, no, I'm okay every, with it. Everybody's throwing a fit. There's petition going out now to recast. And I want to explain petitions to you that <laughs> every crybaby that thinks they can petition their way to anything that they want, that's not how petitions work. And regardless of how many signatures you think you get, they don't have to abide by your stupid petition. No. They simply don't. Because you want to be a whiny, shit-faced keyboard warrior doesn't make doesn't mean anything's going to change. So you can just stop crying and get used to the fact that this is how things are going to be. Well, see, I, I think it's funny, too. Everybody was all pissed off when Heath Ledger was cast as the Joker. Right. And, and we saw what we got there. And then everybody was upset and rioting about Ben Affleck being Batman. And, and as bad as that movie was, he was a Batman. Awesome. He is the new Batman, you know. So yes. you don't you don't judge it by its cover. Right. You know, if I judged half these books by their cover, I would have thought Heir to the Jedi was the greatest book ever. Just because Luke Skywalker's on the front of it. Because How sorely that. wrong would I have been? <laughs> I won't wipe my butt with that book. But anyway, sorry to get vulgar. But anyway. Um but we just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown about what why are you laughing for? <laughs> Kirsty's over there laughing her butt off. (laughs) He said butt. Sorry to get vulgar. (laughs) No, it's just because she said I wouldn't even wipe my butt with that I would. (laughs) Because then I'd have after Heir to the Jedi on my butt, and it takes showers to get that off. (laughs) But uh, but anyway, we wanted to do a quick video to give a rundown of what we had coming out for you guys. Uh, We are working on a lot of stuff right now, Uh, a lot of stuff in the pipeline. We're working our damnedest to make sure this you know we're trying our best to get it to take off and we're trying to make it look good for you guys you know and we're trying to get what you guys want we're trying not to be like anybody else online right we're trying to stand out and, and find our own stride so and any suggestions that you have feel free to go to the page whether that's Facebook Twitter or our um, Star Wars Canon Library.com mm-hmm. and give us any feedback any suggestions that you guys may have yeah we look forward to hearing from you guys we really do because uh, if it wasn't for you guys we wouldn't even be doing this because honestly this page started with me just keeping track of it on Facebook right. so that I would be able to keep track of all the stuff. And then somebody found one of my posts and then shared it. And then next thing I know, I'm at like 200 likes. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm, guess I'm, I guess I'm doing this for everybody now. But but I love doing it. I, I am so happy, you know. So, so but yeah, that's just a quick rundown of what we got going on. So uh, keep your eyes open, man. It's going to be cool. Uh, and hopefully... The studio is going to be available soon. Yeah. So we shouldn't be doing. A month. Yeah, we shouldn't be doing two awful more videos with this format. But we're going to be building a whole new stage, whole new backdrop for everything. 
So uh, Jer said something about getting some cardboard cutouts, some stuff like that. Right, it's gonna, it's yeah. gonna look great. Yeah. So the only problem is we're probably gonna be doing jump edits like a son of a gun, because his house is two houses away from railroad tracks. Yeah. And trains run through this town like Constantly. hookers through Bangkok, you know. So. Constantly. So, uh, but yeah, that's all, that's what we wanted to let you guys know what's coming up. So uh, make sure you guys are keeping an eye out. Make sure if you guys haven't liked the page yet. Go see our Facebook page. It is facebook.com slash Star Wars Canon Library. You can email us at any time. It is G- or as, uh, Star Wars Canon Library at gmail.com. We have a Twitter that I've been a little more active on. It is at SW Canon Library. And then we have the website now. It is www.starwarscanonlibrary.com. And there's a contact page on there, like I said earlier. So if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to send them in. And I'm working on the page left and right every day, Always. adding new reviews and stuff like that. So if you guys see, if you guys have anything you want added, just let us know and any, any suggestions. So is that is that all you? I think that wraps it cool. Up. All right. Until next time, guys. May the force be with you.